guys, right on the back here. If you guys like my videos, if you guys have seen a few of them, please hit the subscribe button. It will mean a lot to me. So guys, today I would like to talk to you about, I want to call it, we'll say the top five tips to becoming a well, a well-rounded motorcyclist. Um, this is basically the tips and tricks. Um, this video is intended for someone that likes the idea of a bike but has never rode it, ridden one. Um, I'm referencing a street bike, not a dirt bike, not anything like that. Um, I'm going to talk about things you need to keep an eye out for. So guys, my number one tip is be in control of every situation. Um, if you're doing the speed limit 100% all the time, you're obeying all the laws, um, you're just another vehicle out there, and you're half the size, you're invisible. Um, you kind of blend in, it's hard to, you don't stand out control the situation. If that requires you to do 10 over the speed limit, that's how I've been riding for almost 30,000 miles and it has not failed me yet. Uh, knock on wood, I have not crashed. Um, and the only difference I really do other than, I don't know, maybe some other people, is I, I just go a little bit faster. give an example you're driving next to a semi the semi is doing 60 and a 55 do 65 do 70 get past the semi he can't see you the dump truck I just passed buses on the on the, on the non throughway I guess I mean yeah it's le illegal to speed but it gets you out of a situation where a big vehicle can't see you um, so that's definitely my number one tip uh, number two, you always have to be prepared to stop. So right now the way I'm riding is not that safe. I can't grab the clutch, I, all I can do is grab the front brake a little bit. And I can't grab it hard because I don't have my other hand on the bar to control the bike. Um, so I bring this up because when I'm riding, I'm usually looking in people's mirrors. Um, I'm looking at their tires to see if they're getting closer or further from the dotted line. I'm just trying to pay attention to as many things as I can to absorb the information and use it to keep me safe. The first third tip I would have for you guys, um, it kinda, everything, I, everything I bring up today kind of goes hand in hand. Riding by yourself, you're, you're one bike, you're really, you're, you're a quarter of a car, you can't be seen. Um, if you're heard, that's great, but I mean, they're going to hear you and not see you, so it's still not going to be that good. Um, if you have friends, don't be afraid to ride in a group. Groups, are, groups of bikes are seen, groups of bikes are heard. I posted a video where I was with five, four other bikes, there's five all together, and a car still pulled through a stop sign on the throughway and cut us all off. So, the amount of ignorance that people have is just amazing. But, riding in a group will help you get seen, even if it's just one other bike. Uh, tip number four I would have, try to ride as close as you can on the white line. Um, for example, right now I can see about a quarter mile in front of me. Maybe a quarter mile, I don't know. Now that I go behind this car, I can see about 50 feet in front of me. I don't know if there's anything in the road, I, there's nothing that I can see in front of this car. 
Um, it's the same thing if I come onto this white line. I can see all the way around them. It really benefits you to see. Um, tip number 4.5. Um, upgrade your headlights. A lot of people say it doesn't matter. Any older people will say, oh my god, they're just too bright. Too bright's a good thing, guys. Uh, look into getting HIDs for your motorcycle or uh, LED headlights. They are very bright and uh, it'll, it'll tremendously help you see when it comes anytime near sundown. Uh, tip number five, I mean, always look to your left, always look to your right. You never know where someone is. Now, if you're going really fast and you pass someone, you know there's no one there. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about right now while I'm riding to work, doing 10 over. I don't know if there's someone behind me trying to catch me or they're just late to work and they're going fast. Just because there wasn't anyone there 10 seconds ago doesn't mean there's not someone there now. So you, you always have to be vigilant and trying to keep yourself safe because no one's going to keep you safe, only you can keep yourself safe. Bam! So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on five tips to being a good rider. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please comment to let me know what tips and tricks you may think is better used over the ones I have just told you. And if you liked the video and want to see more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and also click the notification bell in the corner next to the subscribe button and you'll get notified when I upload new videos.